Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days, and this is day 31. We finally made it to the end of Psalms and Proverbs, and today we're going to be reading all of Psalm 119 and the rest of Proverbs, which is Proverbs 31. So, this has been a great reading plan. I really enjoy it. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with Psalms or Proverbs. And I really like how um, this one's set up where you can read a little bit of Psalms and Proverbs every day rather than just read through. So, great reading plan and um, happy that we got through it. Can't wait for the next project. So, let's get started with Psalm 119. It's a long one. It's a very, very long one. 170 chapters? Um, 76. Yeah, I knew it was in the 70s. 170. So anyway, Psalm 118, verse 1. Aleph. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of Yahweh. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. O oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments? I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. Beth. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Great verse right there. We need to hide the word in our hearts. We need to be reading it every day and memorizing it. So, if there ever is a time where we don't have a Bible, we'll at least have it in our minds. So we need to be reading every day, and that's I'm mainly talking about talking to myself here. I wish and I strive to learn, not just read, but learn what I'm reading and keep it in my heart, and that's why. I feel like rereading the Bible over and over and over is a great thing. Blessed art thou, O Yahweh, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts, and I have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Gimel. Deal bountifully with thy servant, that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth, hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. Remove me, remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Beleth, my soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me, teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melted for heaviness, strengthen thou me according to thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth, thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Yahweh, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments, when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Eh, teach me, O Yahweh, the way of thy statutes and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Amen to that understanding. 
Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in the way, in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Vow, let thy mercies come also unto me, O Yahweh, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually, for ever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also were lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. Zain. Remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. I remember thy judgments of old, O Yahweh, and have comforted myself. Horror hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Yahweh, in the night, and I have kept thy law. This I had because I kept thy precepts. Cheth, thou art my portion, O Yahweh, I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart, be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Yahweh, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Death, thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Yahweh, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted and went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. You see a pattern yet? I see a pattern here already that I didn't catch the last time I read through Psalms. Teach me thy statutes. Amen to that. And understanding. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Joel, thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding, that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Yahweh, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hath, hast afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dwelt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. Cap. My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful, they persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. 
Look at me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimony of thy mouth. Lamed. Forever, O Yahweh, thy word is settled in heaven. To that. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for they are, all, are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should have then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end to all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Mem. O oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou, through the commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Nun, thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light to my path. There's another great one that we should all know. I remember growing up and always hearing this in church. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It's a great one. There's so many great ones. <laughs> I have sworn in a will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I'm afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Yahweh, according to thy word. Accept, I beseech thee, the free will offerings of my mouth, O Yahweh, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as in heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined mine heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. Samech. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield, I hope in thy word. Here's another great one. Thou art my hiding place in my shield, and I hope in thy word. Amen to that. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my Elohim. Uphold me according to thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. Ein. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding, that I may know thy testimonies. That. It is time for thee, Yahweh, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all the things to be right, and I hate every false way. He, thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for thy commandments. Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Amen to that one too, right? We don't want any iniquity, any sin to have dominion over us. Amen to that. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. 
Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of water run down mine eyes, because thy kept not thy law. Zazandi. Righteous art thou, O Yahweh, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do I not forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delight. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Oh, I cried with my whole heart. Hear me, O Yahweh, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, Save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning, and cried. I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Yahweh. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Yahweh, and all thy commandments are truth. And concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them for ever. Resh, consider mine affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me, quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Yahweh, quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors, and was grieved, because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Sheen. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. It's another great one. We can find peace in God. And you know what? Every time I read the Bible, Every time I go into prayer, I feel, I feel better. I feel at peace. That's not a coincidence because there's many times where I'm like, I'm having a bad day, or bad mood, and I start reading the Bible like nothing's gonna change. I'm nothing's gonna make me not feel this way. And by the end of my reading, yeah, it's changed. Even though I went in, into it with thinking that nothing would change. So, that is so true. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Yahweh, I have hoped for thy salvation, and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. How? Oh, let me cry, let my cry come near before thee, O Yahweh. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy words, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me up, help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Yahweh, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Wow. Although it took us quite a while to read this, it didn't seem like it. Um, wasn't that bad. I love, I love Psalms. But, uh, lost that verse. What was it, 115? I think it was 115. Is my verse of the day. No, 114. I was close. 
This is my verse of the day right here. Thou art my hiding place and my shield, I hope in thy word. This one just speaks to me a little bit more because we can always trust in God and we can always depend on him to be our hiding place, to be our shield, to be our buckler, to be our strong fortress, to be our strong tower. And I just love how many times in Psalms and throughout the Bible, it talks about how God is our shield and our strong rock and everything like that. And then I hope in that word, we have hope when we're saved, our hope. We have hope. And that is to be with Christ forever in heaven in our glorified body. So I like that verse. And finally, we have Proverbs 31. Last chapter in Proverbs. And the last chapter that we're reading in this uh, Bible reading plan. Proverbs 31, verse 1. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son? And what, the son of my womb? And what, the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget thy, the law, and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such are pointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships, she bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field, and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretched out her hand to the poor, yea, she reached forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry, her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girls unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excel them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth Yahweh, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Okay. I think anyone who has a, um, a good fear of the Lord and is on fire for Christ is okay in my books. So, that's going to be it for this reading plan. Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days. We did it, and you know, it didn't seem like a chore. It's never really seemed like a chore, reading the Bible. Um... Yeah, not even when we were reading the whole entire Bible, starting with the whole Testament. Now, there was times where it dried on, yes, but, um, you know, I loved it. I love being in the Word. It's, you know, kind of makes you feel close to God when you're reading the Word. So, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you all have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him. Have trust in Him. And keep waiting on Him. You'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with the next reading project. And I'm still praying about it. 
though I guess we will all find out tomorrow what it will be. Thanks again, and take care.